Talking about his respirator, by the way. You got your headlamp on you? Good. So this right here is where the uh, the main entrance is. Up front. There is some rainfall outside. Yeah, that's not obvious. Look at that. A lot of the buildings collapsed. I think this is an elevator shaft right here. Oh, doesn't look like we can go any further this direction. The whole building's kind of collapsed. Right here is the elevator. Looks like it freaking crashed on the ground. The uh, the doors right here. Oh damn. Did we go down, down? Oh. 
I thought there was another thing of stairs that went all the way down. Okay. Yeah, there's not much down here but ruins. We'll head to the other buildings next. So right here, this is uh, the building we're just in. There's more buildings that we're going to go ahead and check out just down this road. You can kind of see them now. The rain's starting to come down pretty hard, but we'll be alright. Doesn't seem to be very leaky in here, thankfully. You're getting water over the camera. It's all right, though. This is cool. We just saw a deer run by. I didn't get it on camera, but there's wildlife in here. It's crazy because this is like just on Staten Island, right in the middle of the city. Wow, look at this. these arches. What beautiful architecture this place has. I love the gothic architecture. Hello there. Where are you going? I'm going this way. Which way are you going? I'm going this way. The stairs right there. Yes. Classrooms, no. Hotel rooms? This was a colony, people lived here. So they just used the same building and had one bedrooms. Hello there. Let well, them pop up through the window we walked into quickly. <laughs>
a whole lot of wind today. Just rain. I don't like the wind. It always messes up my audio. So that's good. farm colony. These people lived here. This cool bell can right here that wraps around to the other hallway. That's where I came from. Still see the original tiling. It's not covered in dirt right here. This room is very green. So cool. Look at that, another stairwell. the other building we were just at. Wow, look at that. That is incredible. outside. Yeah. It's kind of good that it's overgrown though. Head back down, go to the other buildings. 
It's still a, a really big building. Hidden in the forgotten wilds of Staten Island, surrounded by unsuspecting neighborhoods, is a dark secret. A haunting place that carries with it ghostly reminders of the past. In 1898, construction of the farm colony would be completed. Social outcasts and those that lived in poverty would become the 2,000 residents that lived in the colony. A bank robber named Willie Sutton would take refuge in the farm colony after escaping prison in 1947. It was easy for people who didn't belong to blend in in a place like this. Willie Sutton was only the first of the many dark things that would occur in the farm colony. In the 1950s, the farm colony would lose many of its workers. A new drug, the very first antipsychotic drug known as Thorazine, began circulation in the 1950s. Many of the workers of the colony were outcasted for being crazy by the rest of society. So with this new drug, things would change, and they would no longer be able to work on the colony. That may have marked the end for the farm colony, however the buildings would still be in use into the 1970s as a home for the aged and the poor. It was around this time that the absolutely worst would happen. There would be two cases, several decades apart, of child murder. The first occurred early on in the farm colony's history in the 1920s. Residents claimed to have seen an old man walking with a seven-year-old boy in the woods. That young boy would turn up dead sometime later. Frustrated that no suspect was found, Many of the locals began to blame the legendary serial killer, Crosby. Crosby is an urban legend that dates back to the 19th century, believed to be based on a painter that was active in New York. However, Crosby is just that, an urban legend. But some locals truly believe that he is still stalking the night to this very day. The next string of child murders would happen in the 1970s. Parents would report that their children would disappear, sometimes even while they're walking right beside them. The Pied Piper of Staten Island, as he would come to be known, was at work. The final victim would be in 1987, when the body of Jennifer Schwieger would be found. As it turned out, a man named Andre Rand was living in the tunnels underneath the farm colony. He would kidnap children, do unspeakable sexual acts to them, and then leave their bodies buried on the colony. In 1969, he was arrested after attempting to abduct a 9-year-old girl, but only got 16 months in prison. When he was released from prison in 1972 on parole, he would begin his murder spree. In 1989, he was sentenced to 25 years to life. In 1999, a city councilman, James S. Odo, without the permission from Landmarks Preservation Commission, approved the demolition of some of the buildings on the site. In 2016, plans were made to renovate the historic structures and turn them into affordable apartments for the old. 
As of 2020, it does not appear that any work has been done on the colony. I think Victor just stepped on a thorn. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, mold smell. Did Victor walk through the thorns? So did I. Oh. You guys know there's a path, right? Yeah, he just found it. <laughs> I smell mold. Probably gonna need to put the masks on. Oh yeah, there's no way we can breathe down there. Get the respirators on real quick. Wow, look at this. Bunch of little desks in here. Basket. Yo, look at that. Oh, you can't even see it on the camera. There's a some kind of cloth blowing in the wind down here. Looks really cool. This is an interesting room. Very rusty. Maybe. Also, I'm pretty sure there's asbestos on the ceiling. The what? Asbestos on the ceiling. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. Because according to the website, these masks protect you from asbestos. Look at this. There's even more cloth down here. I think so. No, it's a pallet. The first floor area. Oh, that is spooky. What's up? That's what I was going to show you. This one is thick plastic coins. Pipe. I got a two dollars so I got a coin thing. Oh, 
Well, that's all this way has to offer. to know where all this wood came from. The wall it looks like. Wall, how about that? See what I did there Nick? I said wall instead of well. I don't know if you can hear me with the respirator, but uh, just want to make sure you heard that genius of a joke. a little tiny bit of light all the way down at the end. You good there, Nick? Entrance right there. I'm taking this way. This, this doesn't go anywhere, it's just a room. Uh, Same thing, just a room. Into the upstairs. There's the light up here. Coat stuck. Oh, look at this. Cool little balcony area. Look. Oh, I almost tripped. <laughs> look right there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but you can see civilization right on the other side of that fence. Oh, look at this place, though. This place is cool.
light that circle window. What? Circle here. window. Be sure to be careful. You have to go for a second here. Oh, wow. That sure is interesting. The Staten Island Farm Colony is a place rich with history and a place with a dark past. Its decaying Gothic ruins are slowly being overtaken by nature. But those whose lives were impacted and those whose lives were lost on this colony shall not be forgotten. The history of the Staten Island Farm Colony will always be remembered. As we moved through the briars and the brambles of our frightened jobs, there almost taste the bitter cup. We found as we went deep in the underbrush. Do it, 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 do it,
Booker do it. I'm, I'm not ending this trip with a news story. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, we'll probably be famous. <laughs> <laughs>